What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Brown Panda here. Ever want to set up a home theater on the cheap? Well, you can with uh, this little bad boy. It's a CL760 projector. And I was really excited about checking this out because, you know, I think it advertised like 3,000 3, Lux. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the conversion from a Lux to a Lumen is. Uh, I'm more familiar with Lumens, which I think are the more powerful measurement. But, uh, you know, if you want to be able to watch a movie, a video, share a movie on the road at home in your own little home theater, I'll tell you what, uh, with these little projectors, I've actually projected on the ceiling sometimes uh, for kids and everyone just lays on the ground and watches it on the ceiling. That's pretty cool. I remember in Boy Scouts, they even had a movie night where they brought in a projector and they projected it on a bed sheet. That was kind of cool too. It's a nice little uh, break from just the uh, Boy Scout and outdoor activity. And in the box here, we get uh, everything you need. An HDMI cable, which is actually pretty nice. We get a remote control here, a very light plastic thing, kind of rounded, curved, little like brushed texture, but all the controls that you'll need to control it remotely. Uh, in terms of the battery requirements, a two AAA batteries required. We have a power cable, kind of your standard monitor power cable. And then we also have, uh, like a three and a half millimeter to RCA cable, like that, to audio left and right and then video. So you can input that. We also have two little thumb screws, so replacements or something, a little microfiber cloth for presumably cleaning off the lens. So we'll get that set up here. And then we have la projecteur itself. And what's cool about it is it has a kind of a modern look. It actually kind of looks like a Bose weight radio, if you remember those. Uh, available in black and white, I got it in white here. And pretty light, like I said, uh, you know, pretty small. I'd call it about 12 inches wide and maybe 10 inches deep, but obviously curved. And then maybe about five inches tall here. We do have a little sliding door, looks like, over the lens. So you don't have a cap, you don't have a separate cap. Looks like we have venting right here. In the sides, probably a speaker under here somewhere. And then on the back, what we have are a couple of USB ports right there, a couple of HDMI inputs, the VGA input, and then that headphone jack right there, and then that AV cable. If you wanna use that, I think that would go in there in the infrared receiver right there. Power cable goes on that side. Looks like not only do we have a focus ring right here, but we also have keystoning. So if that is help uh, adjust the picture if you're kind of projecting up so that you can get it square, which is actually a nice feature on this. So uh, now that we've kind of taken a look at this bad boy, I'm going to go ahead and set it up. I've got my uh, projector screen hanging here on the, the far wall. All right, so I've got it set up here. And what I do like is this illuminated control panel here on the top so I can change source menu, all of that. And I do have it projecting on my hanging screen here. And I will say, even with my 3000 lumens of LED cob lights above my head here, which are projecting onto that screen over there, uh, you know, it is quite bright. Uh, it's really easy to read. As you can see, I've just got the YouTube app up on my phone. I uh, just got it connected through the AV adapter into an HDMI cable here. So pretty impressive, you know, just even in a fairly well lit room here. We'll turn off the lights and and try it out there. I'm gonna hit uh, this Alohi Honey Resort video. Gotta do that. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter oh, Brown wow. Panda here. Okay, so I turned on the volume a little bit there, and if I go ahead and flip my phone on its side here, we should get maxing out the video um, in terms of its size. And what I'd say here is, you know, the colors are a little washed out. I don't think it's the brightest ever, but again, I'm in a pretty bright room. So if I were sharing videos, you know, family videos, uh, playing a movie for, family on the road, this would be great. You know, you could absolutely go out kind of in the middle of nowhere and actually have a pretty nice effect, uh, kind of the comforts of home. Uh, would this work for a media room? Absolutely, kids playroom, your office, uh, even projecting into like your bedroom or something in a place where you don't have a TV. What an easy way to add media capability. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and kill the overhead lights here and take a look at what kind of video quality we get here. Um, I think it looks pretty good. And actually, I'm going to say the color representation is pretty good. Again, a little bit faded on total, uh, you know, color representation. But, you, you know, I don't know. I, I'm going to just say it's got a little bit of a washed look, but actually quite good. I'm, I'm kind of taking it back a little bit and when I'm saying that because here in the dark, like I said, 
the grays look gray, the blues look blue, the whites look white, uh, the tans look tan. I mean, it just, it actually looks really good. Um, so I'm impressed with that. And, you know, only being about eight or six or seven, maybe eight feet away from the screen, I've got about a 65 inch uh, screen here. The keystoning, I'll show you, works great. You can actually absolutely make these adjustments to, to line it up. So that's a really nice feature to have on a projector at this level. Um, and at this price point, it's just something that's, a lot cheaper than buying a TV of this size, and I think it will really suffice for most of your needs. Whether you're a road warrior and trying to do presentations, I know even for some of the community groups that I'm around, you know, when we want to show people, you know, results or our uh, balance sheets or presentations and that, that type of thing, we don't need a great projector, but it helps to have a little one. So when you have 10, 15 people in a room, it's just really easy to share those ideas on. This would work fantastic for that. I'm really, really impressed with this. This is actually, um, you know, the more I'm watching this and here with this little aquatic scene here, man, it looks good. It's smooth. I'm not sure if it's 720p or 1080p, but I can't see any pixelation from where I'm sitting about 10 feet away from the screen. I'm just kind of mesmerized. This is a great way to be immersed in your videos, watch a movie, watch YouTube, watch your Sling TV, whatever. Wow. Dude, I really like this. And again, it won't break the bank. I will put a link to this projector in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.